the mountain you transfer your two models to this upgrade. Right? So are you, are you going to mount the upper first or lower first? Right? So even this morning's lecture, we know upper. you mount the upper first. But how do you mount it? Three phase ball, kinematic, ear ball, or the dental facial analyzer. Right? So today I will use the dental facial analyzer. How do you use the dental facial analyzer? So the first thing you want to do is for the fixed cross, okay, you, you have a wrist articulation, and then you have a two kind of pin. For the fixed cross, you want to use this wrong end. Right? And also the platform uses this blue one. This is for fixed part. This the other one is a little bit peeled. This is for your competency setup. Okay. So I just review what you learned in the pushing course. So this is for the fixed part. Okay. So this is pretty much the setting. Okay. So first thing you want before you do your articulator, always make sure you have very clear mounting area. If you have any wax, you know you mount your dairy. I mean, then you maybe not too much of a fixed part you every inch, every millimeter okay. And also make sure your central pin is perfect in the zero millimeter. Okay. So first this is the upgrader. And then, then you have a couple of things. This is the we call the mounting plate. Come with the dental facial analyzer. Okay, I will show you how to mount it up. Okay. And this is the dental facial analyzer we discussed this morning, right? So again, there's a three component. Yeah. So the first one is brand new, so it's very Well, we know it's the. This is it. So this is the. That's really good. I just put that in. Oh, there you go. You need a clean one. <laughs> There's one in my bag. In the... Yeah. So this is your first component, all right? Horizontal reference. So again, what's the horizontal reference for dental facial analyzer? All right, basically just pro, right? So when I put this one into Brian's mouth, I will just make sure, first make sure it stands and way up and right. Don't want to tear you either way. And then make sure this one go inside your hair to your bone. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Three. Okay. And the second one is this component is a vertical route. So vertical route basically just engage with the you don't want to push all the way in. Just probably I would say about one third. And again, what what is your reference for this one? Is the facial mean line. Right? Most specifically is on the hair and eye and then on your between the eyeball and over the chin. Right? And then the the, the third part is this one. So in each patient, this part, this two can, basically you can just uh, sterilize, after you sterilize, but this one only for sterilize. And do you see the, this is a mounting plate, and do you see an anterior star? Yeah, this is the very important star. Most people mount it wrong just because you. Remember the article I showed you this morning? The reference of this uh, is design. Have you heard about the, the article show the bone whale triangle? It's from the cone dial. They say this is the patient's mouth right here. So from the cone dial to the patient's incisor edge is about 100 millimeters. So if you measure here to here is 100 millimeters. I mean cone dial to here is 100 millimeters. Which means if you're mounting, when you, when you do the take a bias, your incisor edge and here A9, need to against this way. Cannot be here, cannot be too far. If you don't against this one, which means you are not in the 100 millimeter the range. 
be reduced more error. Okay, so this is three critical areas. So I will use the uh, right as a reference, the example. And in your whole package, you also got this one. This is called, uh, basically this is confirmed by tab. And this by tab, I can show you the Some of you didn't get this one. So this is the confirm tab. I just show you one case. Okay. So this is confirm tab. So usually I put it in the four, four put it four. Two on China and then two on the order. Right. And then you use this tab, the advantage is use this one is uh, you have plenty of time and then reverse four. So basically you put the one, two, three, four, and just soak in the warm water. So basically you warm up this one, you can sort. Then you have plenty of time to adjust. But when, when you get experience, you just put it as a heat here, use a fire reduction. Uh, today I'll just use this one just as either one move. Right. So this is the one. No, that's a that's a clean one. Yes. So when you take the faithful, there are literally two, if you look at the panel and the demonstration, literally there are two methods. One is uh, let the patient completely lie down on the chair. So let's say if this is the patient, you let the patient completely lie down here. Right? Right? So remember this one, this horizon is a parallel to the floor, which means perpendicular. For the floor, you can take it like But I, I have a hard time to think because I'm anti cross I have a hard time to see. I always see from the one angle. I mean, in my hand, I just, I just, I just think. So the other way will be let the patient sit up and right. But if we call it a new, just let him sit, maybe he's not. So you see, that patient just stand up, right? And most of the time, I just that patient against my office and the, the wall. This way, I have a good support. Right? And then, that, how do you determine your your head position? That's pretty. According to the article, the, like the author article, how do we study like a smart line? Usually, let the patient just uh, pretty natural and look as far as possible. Then they will be pretty straight. I don't want to peel up, peel down. Okay, so this one. So your guidance, let the patient just look up, strip over and just play the nature. Brian, we're a zombie. So, yeah, right. <laughs> so the first thing is I put the, uh, let me pick out, okay, just put the, the violin right first. Okay. So, <laughs> you see the guy open? Let the patient open. Yeah. So when I press in, I don't against patient's upper arch. That is for ear for baseball. If we do ear for baseball, you do this one. That you place basically against the right our upper arch. But if not, if you use this, this dental patronizer, your you horizon is a reference, right? So basically, you just to make sure the interior stop, stop on facial incisal edge. And this horizon basically is just parallel to your floor. Is it? Is it? Yes. No, no, yes. For serious, not much. Only the end of the year. That's why I'm only doing the position. I, I see a lot of upstairs. It's a different, different difference, man. Okay. So, you will see, actually, we mount, you will see white. Okay. So, this is the horizon frame. Again, you just have 8, 8, 9, touch the gear start, and then again, that's it. Okay. And then what's the next one? This one, right? right. So if you look at Ryan, right, you see his nose, maybe to his left side. You see? Right. So if, <laughs> I, if I follow his nose, now my, my face will be here this way. Yeah. So most of the time, I just use the hand line and the eyeball and also the chin. You look at it. And your face will be right. 
So you can, against the incestual age, give some pearls to violin, and then, then you will face your midnight. Follow your vertical rock. And then what? And then you just put the vibration or compound. You can do every day. But it sounds easy, but actually it's more, I would say, it takes a little more practice with your eyes. Because it's easy for you to do like a, like a horizon. Trust me, if you ask your data what you can do, they will say, okay, this is terrible. You know what I mean? So because now you have a two-year training, so you train your eyes pretty terrible, so you can so when you, if you later you let the student do it, make sure they know what is the problem. So always do it. Okay. Right. Any, any questions? So when you're placing the, the, plat the white platform in the midline of the central, and if the facial and the dental midline is not coinciding, then what do we do? Because you're trying to... Um, uh, Very good question. So you see, remember this one, when I introduced this one to Ryan Jamal, and I only work on the patient's facial midline. I didn't look at the, the, this platform. Did you see this platform? There's a notch here. This is supposed to be dental me line. But you don't want to take care of it. The letter you will mean line as a reference. So the reason is look at it right here. So look at this mean line. His mean line is pretty out, but slightly peeled to his left side. Right? So in this case, after I mounted, I should see the same relationship in the articulation. When I mount on the articulation, when I mount on so in the particular this is the facial mean line. So this facial mean line is equal to this way Right. So when I mount the articulator, the upper arch, I mount it, I should see the mean line, the dental mean line, is the coin cells, for Brian's case, coin cells facial mean line was slightly killed to the left. You know what I mean? So that, that white thing will just work as a stop? As a stop. Perfect. You got it. And mm -hmm. the front teeth are touching and the back ones are not. Mm -hmm. then, but we're still trying to maintain the... The floor. The, the, the floor, uh, the floor yeah. So if somebody is a crucial connection, it's like a rise of the anterior posterior crew pain is pretty, pretty level actually. Some, someone's uh, crucial pain is very teal. Uh, so which means that your quite retreat in the back needs to be more to compensate the description. But when he sets it, it's only my front teeth touching, no posterior teeth touch at all. And I'm still trying to maintain this uh, paddle to the floor. Right. Yes. 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 Good, good question. Yep. Any other questions? Yeah, that's pretty good. So, um, so when you said if they have like the crucial plane is a little bit higher, you're going to change the amount of bite pads? Right. How would you know that? How would you know how many to add? Right. So you see this one is really, this one is in the great program is even lost. So you already really change your eyes. So look at the patient first. First I will see the mean line. First mean line, the mean line. And then also the second one I will see the, the crucial plane. Someone, some of you, you can see some of you is very clear. Right. But then in this case, because interior only touch, the posterior will be a gap. So the posterior I need to, if I use the compound, posterior may, and may sometimes I need to add more compound to support the posterior. So most people use it in a right, normal range. Right. Okay, any, any other questions? Okay, so this will be really quick, okay? So, this is, so basically you have a horizon plate, vertical road, <laughs> and, then, and then you have a <laughs> Alright, and then usually uh, I just use this pipe, okay? Put that in the adhesive. Yeah. What's the working time of this one? So, my friend is straight. Like a minute? 30 seconds? So, let's make sure patient with the strip ahead, very nice. And open. I just press the platform into against the the incestual age, and then first I make sure the horizon plate parallel to the horizon, and then I look at the vertical mean line. I know. No, it's parallel to the horizon. So it's parallel to the horizon. And then you spill and you turn into the radio. Right? So you see from the front, you can, you can take a picture from the front. You see, you, you see the horizontal plate? 
pretty peril the floor, right? And look at the mean line. Just follow the facial mean line. So I don't look at the dental mean line at all. And I don't look at the crucial at all. Right? So after this set, this is your face. Right. And then how do you mount it? This is the important. Thank you. So again, this is what I'm talking about in lecture here. So now after I use the Arduino impression line, lower this one is PBS, which are more accurate. This one more accurate. Right. So if you put the non-accurate model, I mean ready to the accurate model, you will feel some bouncing. You see, you can feel some distance. Right. So this is very detailed. So first thing we will do is, uh, I think you can see. So you see, this is very accurate indentation, second anatomy, and uh, including the embrasure over here. So the first thing, either the face ball breaker or you the first thing you do is just use the sharp black to remove those details character. The, all you need is just to have an indentation as well. So let me just see. Yeah, I, I will try to pay much all the projects my lecture, but some lecture is not in the project. I'm not sure I can ask them to do it. So do you see a difference? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do you see a difference? Yeah. Right. So this way you, you make sure, it, it, just the most thing make it really different. While the compact I barely touch, because it just looks different. Right. So do you understand the same thing? Okay. Dr. Chen, can we see it over here? Yeah, you can change. Right, you can. Right, you see it's different? I just basically remove all those, uh, those two detail indentations. Yeah. Like a part two, two deep one. Yeah. Part one. Yeah. Part 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 if you put too much material, you just waste your, waste your time. Right. Right. So with this one, and also, only after you take the impression, your, your stone model always some bubble, right? Even as the impression. I just took the impression, it's always there. Except right. for this one. There's always some bubble, some void. It is my Make sure you clean out all the void. Just all, all those details, that all the case I show you, so you paint all those details. So you see the difference. After I trim it, just one six minutes, very stable. You don't see bouncing anymore. It makes sense, right? You don't see. Right. So how do you mount it? <laughs> so again, now you have this record, right? So usually I do the face ball when the patient's still mounting, when the patient's still in the chair. This way I can verify it's right or wrong. Okay. So this is my face ball just to the right. Okay. On the, on the previous side, you have a uh, everything setting, zero degree, everything, right? So your this is your money plate, and also you make sure this is uh, the zero degree money plate. Okay. So do you see the same four hole here? It's just uh, to accommodate your white, the white plate here. Makes right. sense. So let's just remove it. And then you put it here. <laughs> That's it. But if you, you use the earbow face ball, you have to change the whole piece of earbow face ball and then use like the balancing support. Yeah, this is different from yeah. But this one is a little very stable. And what's the next? Mounting. What's the next? So you see here, I have a model. Put here. Damn. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Yay. You just need to put the mounting plate here. Yeah. 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 Time for meds. Time right. for meds. So how do you verify this is correct? Okay. Let's see the right come back here. Thank you. What do you need to do? Yeah. I just want to verify. 
Right. So you, you see the so now what do you got here? You see this is the patient's facial mean line, right? And then you see the patient's dental mean line. Do you see the relationship? It's pretty on, but slightly shift to the patient's right. I mean dental mean line, slightly shift to patient's right, if you see here. You see on the okay. Right? So you, you, let me see this. So now this is the first time I see the slide. So look at the right one. Right. So you see her midnight is midnight here. Pretty on, but slightly too. I don't know how to do you still need a vibration? Yes, yes, I will demonstrate it. So this way, if you are mounting, if you are mounting, you are dental mean and facial mean line after you mount it, you shift to, completely shift to the right or left, you know this is wrong. Right? But once you verify this right, and then you can then fish and go home. They're wrong. Okay, any, any other question? Just okay. flat. Then okay, the next. So you, you just try to think about this one. It, it makes sense, right? This one is a horizon, right? So you, when you mount it, you are mounting plate. This one is a horizon floor, right? And then your vertical row is patient facial mean line. You articulate it here, patient facial mean line. And then once you are you come dial to the incisal age, 100 millimeter, average for the most 85% is 100 millimeter. So we kind of transfer the aesthetic and the functional components at the same time. So, okay. if we had a level on each side of, no, this, that, like if you just put a level right yeah. here and a leveler so right there. You your articulator, lays a level here. Mm -hmm. Try, but once you get familiar, you will feel this is just redundant. So, is it as important for it to be level posterior, yeah. anterior, yes. and yes. Yes. this way? So, yes. this you want basically purely level. Yes, yes. All right. So, this is the upper. So, then when you take the bite lower, the same thing you take an MIV bite. I just don't demand. Take an MIV bite, and then once you've got the bite, the same thing before you found that you were lower, make sure you. Remove the the all the all the extra I would say extra material. And then you can mount them the lower. Okay, so in your like you can trade with each other for this part if you want. But for your S your sign up shoot, just use the dental phone. Right? Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Thank you. Thank you.